What's going on beautiful people? Thank you for tuning in once again. You guys already know the message. One family, one love, one heart, right? Um, I'd like to think of this community, right? Um, as a community of people that have vision for a better world, a better society based on love, cooperation, and total acceptance and non-judgment of absolutely any kind of action, any kind of behavior, anything like that, just love, because love is acceptance, that's what love is, love is not, love is acceptance, it's not as magical as we think it is, or me, movies thought, made us think it is, it's just accepting, if you accept someone, you love them, acceptance, a, a universal acceptance for everything that the universe expresses, however that happens to be expressed, so, um, what I want to talk about in this video, speaking of having vision for the future and a better world, uh, it's so I had a I had this phase where I had constant occur, recurring dreams about the end of the world and I'll recite two of them that I remember vividly okay I re, I'll, I'll just recite them and then I kind of will tell you after what I think they mean what I just what I think they mean not what they mean but what I think what Saeed thinks they mean what this part of the universe thinks these dreams mean. So, first dream. I was on some sort of a ship, okay, and in the middle of the ocean. And I wasn't alone. I had people with me. But it wasn't just one ship. It was sort of a fleet of ships, okay? And I was on, I was on one of the fleets, right? Now, I, I don't remember I was the leader of it, but I... I, I I remember being an important part of it. I remember being um, like, I wasn't given the orders, I wasn't given anything, but I remember like I was sort of, I was the strategy guy. You know, I was telling them, okay, this is what we do, this is what we do now. And there was another fleet of ships, okay? And they were our enemies. So we were fighting, we were actually fighting somebody else with it, with it, their own feet. It seemed like this was shit you would see in like Pirates of the Caribbean or like shit from the 1700s, okay? Uh, and we were fighting them. So I was like, you know, being the strategy guy, telling them, okay, we should shoot them now, we should shoot them there. And in the middle of a battle, we were battling the other fleet. We were like shooting fire, right? And they were shooting back at us. Uh, and in the middle of a battle, <laughs> here's what happens. <laughs> this is hilarious. In the middle of the battle, I look behind me, right? And I see this massive wave, okay? This massive ocean wave, and it's about to hit every single one of us. The enemies and the friends, the ships, everyone was gonna get destroyed by this wave, right? And it wasn't right there, right there, right there. It was a bit far, but you can see it coming. And you, you're just, you can look at, at like in the dream, okay? Because <laughs> I think that's how I am in real life. In the dream, I started almost laughing because I'm like, we're fucked. You know, because that's, that's my natural uh, response to any type of stress. Like if, if something happens to me in real life, like, oh, we're fucked. And I just kind of have a bit of a sense of humor about it. So in the dream, I remember looking at the wave and I'm like, holy shit, we are fucked. Okay, <laughs> so then it, something happened in my mind in the dream. I was processing, I was like, huh, so does it matter this fighting that we're doing, all these games we're playing, you're, you're different than me and I'm different than you and this is why we're fighting and I don't even know why we're fighting in the dream, but I mean, hey, like, just look around you in the world, everybody's fighting for some fucking reason. You know, the men are fighting the women and the women are fighting the men because they think they're, 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 the illusion of separation is, has penetrated through everyone's mind and that manifested in, you know, you're a woman, I'm a man, so fuck, like, this is how it is and, you know, you know, all men are evil or all women are evil, all women are bitches and all men are assholes, you know, or it could be like race, you know, that you, you've been caught up in this uh, illusion of separation of race, like, oh, there, he's, he's white, you know, black power or, or these blacks, right, like, like, fuck, they're, you know, whatever, you know, they're ruining our country, or look at these Mexicans, you know, just hopping, hopping fences, and, and, and just taking all our jobs, and blah, blah, 
Anyway, you see, they're caught up in this illusion of separation and they're fighting over race or you're fighting over gender or you're fighting over some sort of something, this illusion of separation of this earth game that we've been too caught up in. And But the wave was coming to destroy everybody. It, it really didn't matter. My ship and my, and my crew and my uh, the fleet that we were in, it didn't matter the other fleet. It, it really didn't matter what the fuck was going on there. Like, it really didn't matter, right? The wave was coming to get every single one of us. And I had that realization in a dream. In the middle of it, I was like, fuck, we're all fucked, right? And then I st I'm like, okay, I gotta tell everybody here. <laughs> we gotta stop fighting and deal with this. And I don't think I got to it. I think that's where the dream sort of uh, ended. Um, the wave was coming, but it never it never swept us. You know, that's where I woke up. And then I didn't wake up with any sense of panic. I, I really didn't. And this is a nice thing about my dreams lately. It doesn't matter what the situation in the dream is. I'm not panicking in the dream, which, I mean, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. So I didn't, I didn't wake up with any sense of panic, but I realized something. I realized that this dream, and I have another one as well. Um, I have another one to tell you guys, and then maybe we'll, 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 we'll talk about it. what I think they mean. Okay. So that's dream number one, dream number two, I'm in my town. I'm currently in like this little town. It's not a little town. Sorry. It's part of Hamilton. It's still a city, but it's called Dundas. It's just like, it's beautiful nature. It's all nature, right? All nature. I'm on the basically uh, it's a suburb, suburb of the city of Hamilton, but still 15 minutes. I'm in the middle of the city, but it's really nice. I love it. I think I'm going to be here for a while because I just love the nature so much. Um, and in the dream, everything was burning, all the houses and everything. But here's the thing. I didn't give a fuck. You know why? Because I, in the dream, and this is, I'm talking in my, my dream mind, I'm like, you know what? I'll just, I'm just going to run into the woods. Nothing's going to happen to me there. Um, I'm quite attuned to it i i can survive there you know i spent i already spent a lot of time in there um you know i'm pretty good i'm gonna i'm just gonna go run away and i can't help these people right they're in my mind in 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 the dream i was like they're too civilized they're not they're they're they've created this mess and they're gonna get destroyed and i'm just gonna go into the woods and because that's the best path and in the dream i was like almost laughing you know not at the people's misery or their burning but i'm like fuck like I'm okay. I'm going to go into the woods and hopefully I'll meet some other people there and maybe we can figure out a way to sort of like tell people, Hey, like we got to get back to nature. That, that's really what, what the dream was all about getting back to nature. So I ran, right? I ran across the town, right? Or, or whatever. It's a little district. I ran across it like with super speed, like super, super fucking speed, right? Like some Sonic, like, you know, Sonic, you know, if you played the teams and how he fucking goes, oh, super speed. And I ended up being in, in, in like the woods and I'm looking around and I'm looking at the, all this nature. And I even completely forgot that everything else is burning, right? And nature was fine. Nature was good. Nature was beautiful. Nothing was happening there. And that's where the dream ended as well. I don't remember meeting anyone there in the woods, but I was like, I was sort of optimistic almost. I was like, fuck it. That's all already burning. Let's get started. Mother nature here. Uh, I'll probably run into people and we'll just like build a new society based on mother nature. So there's two things happening here in both dreams. And I've had many other dreams, but these are the ones I can remember vividly. Same concept, the end of the world, uh, an uh, whatever the fuck you call it. Um, some sort of disaster, some sort of a big disaster, right? Some sort of a big thing, some something big, right? I've had this recurring happen over and over and over to me. And this is a representation that number one, we got to stop the fighting. We got to stop the bullshitting. We got to see through the separation of illusion. We got to act fast and we got to get back to mother nature. That's the, that's a clear message. And, and it's almost like this is a, it's almost like I need to deliver this message in these videos, getting back to mother nature, right? Getting back to Mother Nature, building society based on our connection to nature of us being part of the ecosystem as opposed to the ecosystem. Because the way we organize societies now, cities, we organize them in a way where we are the ecosystem. Meaning, okay, us humanity, we're the ecosystem. Uh, we're playing this money game. Let's, let's rape Earth, kill as many trees as possible. 
um, and just kill as many animals and blah blah just to advance this human or what we think we're advancing we think this is progress but really I don't see progress when loneliness is, is like becoming the number one epidemic in North America I don't see it when fucking antidepressants are being handed to kids and handed to people like candy I don't see the progress there I, I don't see it as a progress but we think what well, we think this is progress right and we're destroying nature without realizing that we're destroying ourselves okay and it's really clear to me the message in the first stream i'm fighting i'm i'm part of the fighting it's not like you know i'm out of it and i see this big wave and i'm like we're fucked i'm like we this is in the dream i was like fuck i'm not I, we got to stop this fighting we got to deal with this which is i think a transition phase i think that wave represents a big transition phase and unless you roll with the wave which in the dream i was prepared to like I, I immediately just I'm like let's stop the fighting because I was trust me I was part of the fighting I was like let's fuck up these motherfuckers right but as soon as I saw the wave I understood this is the wave of change it's not a bad thing I think this wave coming is the wave of change and we gotta roll with it and just realize that there's gonna be a transition phase probably gonna have some natural disasters some bad things it's already been happening this year you know. You guys seen with the, with the hurricanes and the wildfires and all of that, right? Uh, a transition phase, sort of like we've been getting too drunk and now we gotta just throw up. You know what I mean? We, we, the earth has gotta throw up. We gotta all throw up as a species. Detoxify the alcohol, the, or, you know, the bad shit that we've been doing to earth for the last 10,000 years since the beginning of agriculture and civilization. Then get back on course, okay? Roll with the wave, get back on course, which is, again, to my second dream, I'm seeing this massive fucking fires and everyone's like, uh, you know, it's all just end of the world. And I'm, I ran into the woods and I was like, when I was in the woods, I was like, damn, this is nice. And I'm, I'm like, all right, let's get fresh beginning, new beginning. So I think this is part, maybe part of what they call the ascension, right? Meaning your consciousness is rising. The consciousness of the planet, of planet Earth is rising. And we might not see it immediately happen in, in front of us. And so we get this natural disasters and all of that, which probably more and more is going to happen off. Uh, but I think it's up to us, the people who see the world in the, in the mess that it is, but also see a brighter future, a better future with optimism and act upon it, act upon it, right? That's very important for each one of us individual to act upon these realizations, right? And start becoming the change you want to see in the world. Spend more time in nature. Um... Be more conscious of, of what you do. Be more conscious of how you use energy. Like, I mean, so what I've done lately is I've just minimized the fuck out of my life, right? I mean, probably not always going to be like that forever. But in this stage of my life, I have just this room, literally. Everything that I own, everything that I have is in this room. Like, literally, I have a closet here. It's got, it's got quite a bit of things in it. But, I mean, that is really it. Right? Because I'm like, okay, well, you know, first of all, what do I really need? And second of all, do I need any more in this current stage of my life right now? I'm not saying in the future I wouldn't like to have like some sort of a, a compound in, in the middle of nature or something. But even then, my vision of what I see in the future, like for my, say I own a house or a farm. I want to have a farm, right? I want to have a farm. I want it to be run by solar. I want to have solar panels. I want to, I want to be off the grid, essentially. That's what I want. I want to grow my own food. I want to be as self-sufficient as possible. And, and, and I think it's, it's very important for us to start being self-sufficient. First of all, what do I really need here? Right now, at this stage of my life, what do I really need? Okay, right. So let's get this inner calm, peace inside first before anything. Forget the material things for now, right? After that, you can, you know, within reason... I think within reason, uh, increase your material wealth and as part of nature, not as like completely separate from it, right? Using nature because we can have, honestly, like all this technology we have right now, we can have it all with sustainable energy. We can. That's a beautiful thing. I can still talk to this camera a hundred years from now and I can still, you know, we can still have all this beautiful, wonderful technology that we've come up with, but with, you know, reasonable, sustainable energy right? We can have cars powered by electric electricity and by solar, right? 
Uh, it's just, again, the, the big, it's, I don't want to get into it right now, big money, big companies, they just will try to milk the money before they know their, their time is out. The wave of change is coming. That's the moral of the story. That's the moral of those dreams. That's the moral of that. The wave of change is coming and it's a better change. It's a change for the better, right? You can already see it happening. You might not see it immediately, but you can feel it, right? There's a rise in the mass consciousness of the earth and by default, the people on earth, because we're part of our environment. We're part of mother earth. We're part of mother nature. And it's up for us, young people, people with these visions, people who feel these things and understand it and are able to look at things from an alien's point of view and are able to see your connection with everything and how separation is an illusion. It's up for us to lead that change. So it's not just me. I'm just part of the change. It's also you watching this video. Okay. Go and do whatever the fuck you need to do to make the world better. Change yourself first. First, don't try to change anything. Change yourself first. And from that place of confident, grounded, you know yourself. You know you're a divine being. You know you're light. You know you're made of love. You know you, you know who you are. Not this external Saeed, this matter, right? That's just a vehicle you use in this lifetime. And that vehicle is... is just going to disappear. It's, it, it, it is disappearing right now. Okay. You're one step closer to death physically, this physical body, but not, not soul, not consciousness, not eternally. That's forever. And you'll go back to realms fucking bazillion times better than earth, like what you think is good here. You see? So what I'm saying is if you know who you really are and you're you know that you're grounded from that place of groundedness and uh, connection with all you can start to change the world you can start to sort of you know i have this idea where we can have this better energy or blah 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 right i have this idea for this community uh or maybe like you you grow up to be like a super engineer like just like elon musk you know i, I think elon musk is a wonderful human being you know and you can start to help the world or you can just help them with word i think for me you know one of the best way for me right now at this stage in my life to help people is through words, through bringing awareness, right? And I'm already do, playing a part of it, but I'm not, I'm not this super genius engineer or the super smart scientist or whatever, right? I'm not, I just know it. It's not my destiny. I'm not, I, I don't like studying. I don't like sitting. I don't like it, but somebody else, maybe some of you guys watching this might like, you might love science and end up being like a genius scientist the next einstein and you bring in all these ideas with you and boom massive change to the world but again it might have happened because you've watched this video and me saying these words might have happened because i watched someone else and i got motivated by them and i've done maybe a shit ton of psychedelics to come up with these realizations maybe not you know i don't know i don't know don't accuse me but anyway anyway my point is let's together arise the mass consciousness of the planet this has been an erratic rant but I think somehow if you've been watching up until now, you hopefully feel more lifted. <laughs> and that's it. Whew. Well, that, that felt good. Check out my book, Five Powerful Habits to Dominate Life in All Areas. If you want to be a badass in all areas of life, it's really cool. 22 pages, quick read. Uh, other than that, leave me something in the comments. What are you guys' opinions on this? Your stories, maybe some end of the world dream stories that you guys have. Other than that, I love you guys, love every single one of you, but don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna sleep with the fishes.